I tried to start this video and discovered I don't have enough hands. The bird pooped on me, the cat stepped in the poop and grounded it into my pants. Um, luckily, I don't actually have to worry about oops. They're getting a little bit more sniffly. You sniff very strong on the bird. Like you put your nose on and then you push. Ha. Huh. So what I want to do today at this moment is show you how roosters get sneaky. Are you sniffing? Okay. That's a very, very aggressive sniff. Um, <laughs> and we're going to try really hard here. You see those little scruffy feathers sticking out? Oops, or noodle, chill out. Um, right there. Those ones. You see them sticking out there? Those ones. When I turn it to this angle, you can see that there is a dot of brown coloration. I just got pooped on again. At the base of that feather. And oh gonna see the cat step right in it? Yep, yep, yep. Could you could you not? Could you could you not? That would be great. Um so that is how roosters can fool you and make you think that they're hens is by having that dot of baby feather. So anytime you have a bird that has like a lighter color at the top and a darker color at the bottom of their baby feathers, and that scruffy bit of feather falls off the end of the adult feather. It's, um, it just kind of like comes off like a baby tooth, you know, like the old feathers push it off and then eventually it breaks off. And that's true of all quail feathers. And I don't know if it's true of all birds or not, but it's true of all quail feathers. And come here. <laughs> and so it turns out that that is the other reason that I, at least for a couple more weeks, need to keep the hobbler, who is definitely going to be a lot of work. Um, is because having a quail by herself, guess who is the only healthy hen out of eight birds? It's Pearly Butt. Pearly Butt's parentage is Bunny and Rooster Dooster. So, that's good to know, huh? And this is a rooster. So we only got one healthy hen out of the whole deal. Huh. What do you think, Oops? What do you think? You be good? I'm gonna leave this rooster in the hen box because they are friendly with each other at least for now, um, until any mating behavior is observed. Once mating behavior is observed, then you gotta be a rooster. Because a one-on-one -on -one pairing um, is not safe for the hen. Roosters need a five to one ratio of five hens and one rooster. Four to one can work. It depends on the temperament of your birds. And so, you'll get to be the hen hutch friend once you're laying eggs. Once you're, well, probably another two weeks, one to two weeks, you'll have all your feathers and it'll be good to put you outside in that hutch that has the heater. Um, not quite enough feathers for heat tolerance on this one just yet. Around their eyes, they still have baby feathers. Chill, 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 honey. Around their eyes, they still have baby feathers. Down their chest, there's still a lot of exposure. And some of them have feathers still growing in on the edges, too. But yeah, that big band of gold down the middle means this one's almost, almost definitely a rooster. Huh. No bonkins. 
I know, when the bird flaps, it gets you all kerfluffled. No bonkins. Oops doesn't put their claws out for the bonkins. We've learned, huh? You go, baby. You're a very trainable little one, yes. Whoops. Sorry. Do they stop petting? Yeah, so. Roosters. Hen. Well, hens, because the hobbler is a hen. Why are you falling? But, uh, yeah, it would seem we have a lot of meat birds this time. And I do not understand why it's so hard to get a good clutch of hens going. You trying to play? Where are you going, babe? No, it wasn't the bird that did that. It was me. Whoa, where are you going? You fall down, go boom. You okay? There you go. I'll put my foot so it won't slide like that. Yep, so Sneaky Roo. You are Sneaky Roo. Yeah, are you being shamed? Like checking out your future roommates. Your friend is getting lonely. That's what that chirp is. That is lonely bird chirp. You don't find the hobbler to be much company, do you? No, see, that's why we got to keep this one in there until you're old enough to go out in the hen hutch. What you doing, oops? What you doing? Hi. This is the second time I've had a whole hatch that only had one hen in it. You want to sniff or are you going to be mean? What you doing? Don't be mean. Yep. Yeah. It's like quail cam. You sniffing. The bird doesn't like it when you sniff rough. You have to sniff nice. Sniff nice. I don't know why you like to sniff and shove your sniff into the bird. It's very strange. A little bit of kitty and quail cam, and then we'll call this one done. For anyone wondering if you can train most cats to do this, maybe. I could probably do a video on how I trained this one. They were still a baby. If that's something anyone's interested in, let me know. Huh. Do you like I don't care? It's birds. Huh. Say bye, oops. Oop. Me and Shy. Shy face. Oh, there we go. No Shy. No shy. Boop. <laughs> Say bye, Sneaky Roo. Say bye. Yeah, Sneaker. Say bye. Bye, bye, bye. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye.